everyone, this is Catherine with Free Tours by Foot. I'm coming to you right from Schubert Alley in the heart of the theater district. That's what's behind me. And that is appropriate because today we're going to talk about how to get the very best deals on Broadway show tickets. So I do think going to see a Broadway show is something a lot of people visiting New York have on their bucket list, something they definitely want to do while they're here. And you absolutely should. I do think though that a lot of people spend more money than they really need to in order to have this experience. So we're going to talk through a few options, ways to get the very best deal possible. So let's start with an old standby and that is the TKT discount ticket booth. TKTS is run by the Theater Development Fund. That's a nonprofit. There are three locations, all in Manhattan, and this is a way to get day of discounted tickets to plays and musicals. Not just Broadway shows, they have off-Broadway shows and some other performing arts events all over the city as well. So TKTS, like I said, is day of tickets. And that is exactly what that sounds like. That means that when you decide you want to go see a Broadway show, that day, you will go to TKTS, you will go up to their window, they will have a list on a board of everything that they have available for a discount that day. The discounts are typically 30% to 50%. Depends on the show, depends on the day. A um, couple of things to know. First of all, not every show is available at TKTS. If it's a really super popular show, you're not gonna find it for a discount there. For example, Hamilton, not at TKTS. Uh, not available for a discount most places except for the lottery option, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. So day of also varies depending on if you're going to see a matinee show or an evening show. Matinees for Broadway shows are typically on Wednesdays and on Sundays. There is some variation in that. Um, so make sure you check a specific show's schedule if that's what you think you wanna do. Um, the TKTS booths also have slightly different schedules. The main location is the Times Square location. It's by far the most famous. It's under the big red steps in Times Square. Because it is the most famous, it's by far the most popular and the most crowded. And it also opens quite a bit later. Uh, if you are going to get day of tickets for an evening show at the Times Square location, they're not going to open up until the afternoon. They will open in the morning to sell matinee tickets only. Uh, the other two locations are Lincoln Center and the South Street Seaport. Those run a little bit differently than the Times Square location. First of all, they both open in the late morning, usually at 11 o'clock. So they open a little bit earlier. You can get evening tickets as early as 11 o'clock in the morning. The other primary difference is you can buy matinee tickets at those two locations for the next day. So if you go on a Tuesday, for example, you could buy a ticket for the Wednesday matinee. That is not an option you have in Times Square. One of the things they do have available at the Times Square location that they don't have at the Seaport or at Lincoln Center is something called the Play Express Window. So most people lining up for discount tickets are hoping to see a Broadway musical, but there are wonderful Broadway plays as well. Um, there is a Play Express line at the Times Square location. So if you are going to see a play and not a musical or trying to get tickets to go see a play and not a musical, you can jump in that express line. It moves very, very quickly. It's much, much shorter and you can zip right through the front of the line and get your tickets. So those are the differences between the two options. Um, I'll talk to you about what my preference is in just a minute, but I wanna run you through a couple of things you should really know before going to TKTS. Um, this will set you up to have a much, much better experience. So like I already said, not every show is available at TKTS. So the best thing you can do for yourself is before you go, look up what might be available. Now, technically it changes from day to day. It's pretty consistent within a given time frame what shows are going to be available. Go on the Theater Development Fund's website, the TKTS website, look at what has been up on the boards is how they say uh, for the past several days and that will give you a really good idea of what is going to be available when you decide to go. The best thing you can possibly do is go ready with a list of a few shows that you're interested in seeing. It's a long line at TKTS and unless you're first in line other people have gotten to that window before you have. 
the show that was top of your list may not be available by the time you get to the front of that line, but that's okay. Have a second choice, a third choice, a fourth choice ready to go. They're still all going to be great and you will have a wonderful time. And the other really important thing to know, I think, is go ready with the most you are willing to spend on a ticket. Now these are discounted tickets, up to a 50% discount, but please understand a 50% discount on a really expensive Broadway show ticket is still not necessarily cheap. So the way their system works, the people working at the TKTS booth, just so you know before you go, they do not have access to the full seating chart for that theater. They can't click around and see, oh, well, there's this seat available, this seat available, this seat available. The way it works is you go to the front, you tell them a show, their system is going to pull up the very best ticket available, not the cheapest ticket available, the very best seat available. That is the only seat they can offer you. So please don't ask them to click through and see if there's something cheaper for that show. They really can't do that. So you need to have a number in mind. What am I willing to pay to see this show? What am I willing to pay for a Broadway ticket? And so if the first thing that they offer you is more than you were looking to spend, move on to the next show and then maybe the next one. Either way, you will leave with a show. And so some pros and cons of TKTS. The pro is it's a pretty surefire bet. You are going to walk away with a show ticket most of the time. Um, you are going to get a discount on that ticket. You are not going to be paying full retail value for it. Some of the cons are your first choice may not be available. Uh, you may be paying a little bit more money than you would doing a rush ticket or a lottery ticket. Um, and you can't necessarily choose your seat. You're gonna get whatever the best seat is that's available, but they will tell you exactly where the seat is so you know exactly what it is that you are paying for, which is just different than some of the other discount options. Um, but TKTS is a great way to go about getting a discount ticket. My personal preference, even if you are staying in the Times Square area, I think it is worth hopping on a subway to go up to Lincoln Center or to go down to the South Street Seaport. They open earlier in the day, so there are more tickets available when those two locations open and the lines are much, much shorter. I can personally say I have never waited longer than maybe about 20 minutes in either of those lines and I've definitely waited for a couple hours in Times Square. So that's just my two cents. That is definitely one great option to get a discounted ticket. Another way you can do this is via online discount retailers. Theater Mania is one. There is an app called Today Ticks you can download right to your phone. Um, it works pretty similarly to TKTS in that you're typically buying day of tickets. Uh, the big difference I would say between TKTS and Today Ticks, you're not going to get as much of a discount on one of those uh, apps or sites. You'll get a discount. You'll pay less probably than retail value. Um, one of the things to know is they do charge more of a service fee. I think it's usually about $12.50 a ticket and that can start to add up if you're buying a lot of tickets. There will be a service fee involved. Um, and you will be getting a discount, but probably not as steep of a discount. The main pro in the column for something like Today Ticks is its convenience. You can download it right to your phone. You can be running all over the city and pull up Today Ticks and click, click, click. You have a ticket for a show that night. Again, you're not gonna have the very most popular shows available on Today Ticks, but you will have a lot of choices, including off-Broadway shows, off-off-Broadway shows, performances all over the city. One of the other great ways to go about getting a discount is to do a rush ticket. Now there are rush tickets and there are student rush tickets. A rush ticket is a ticket for a specific show. So unlike TKTS, where you're going to a place that sells tickets to most things available on Broadway, rush tickets are just at the box office of a particular show. And so these are tickets that are set aside to be sold the morning of when the box office opens. Almost across the board, theater box offices on Broadway open at 10 a.m. When 10 a.m. comes around, the box office opens up, they will start selling the rush tickets. They are first come, first serve. When they're gone, they're gone. There are not any more. Oftentimes, rush ticket wise, they maybe only have 20 to 30 of these tickets available. The best part about rush tickets they're really, really cheap. Oftentimes you're talking about 
on the low end 20, but that's pretty rare, but on the high end, maybe $40. And these are usually good seats. Uh, I can tell you, I saw Helen Mirren in the audience in the second row of the theater for $40 by way of a rush ticket. One of the pros is pretty obvious, cheap. Another pro, great seats. Some of the cons might also be kind of obvious. I mentioned that these are in very limited supply. Um, they're far from a sure thing. If you are looking for a sure thing, a rush ticket is definitely not the way to go about it. Um, there are a lot of people that try to do this and sometimes, like I said, there are only 20 rush tickets available. Uh, and even though I said the box office opens up at 10, if it's a really popular show, that is not when that rush ticket line starts. For a really, really popular title, people might start lining up in the wee hours of the morning in order to get a rush ticket or try to be first in line for a rush ticket. Um, I will say oftentimes once the staff of the box office starts showing up, they are usually pretty good about looking at the line and seeing how many people are in it and at least letting people know, hey, we have this many rush tickets available. They kind of let you do the math. They don't just say, you know, get out of here. But if they're looking at a line 100 people deep and they're saying, hey, we have 30 tickets available today, your number 100 in that line, you, you, you might want to just go ahead and go home. Um, the other thing with rush tickets is don't just count the people in line and say, okay, well, there's this many people, I'm this number, I'll get one. When you buy a rush ticket, you can actually buy up to two tickets with one person. So a lot of people going are going to be buying two tickets. Um, so I mentioned student rush. It is exactly the same thing, works exactly the same way as a rush ticket, except it is much more limited. It's what it sounds like. You have to be a student. You have to have an active, valid student ID in order to get them. Please don't try to get around it. One of the other ways to get a really cheap ticket is via lotteries. So there are two kinds of lotteries. There are in-person lotteries, which are becoming less and less common, and there are digital lotteries. An in-person lottery, unlike the rush tickets where it's right when the box office opens, a lottery actually usually happens two hours before the show starts at night. And it is, um, it's a pretty interesting experience actually. You just go to the box office and you write your name down on a piece of paper and you tell them if you want one or two tickets. Your name gets thrown in a hat with anybody else that's entering the lottery. And then they draw names two hours before curtain and you win or you don't. Lottery tickets though, oftentimes are about the same price point as a rush ticket. So you're usually talking somewhere in the 20 to $40 range. It can be a really, really great deal. And you can get two of them per drawing. So like if you're going with your friend or your significant other and only one of you wins the lottery, like not only one of you is gonna get to see the show. Um, so those are the in-person lotteries. Uh, they used to be extremely common. They are less and less common these days because most shows have gone to a digital lottery. Digital lotteries, you enter right online, you put in how many tickets you want, they will do a virtual drawing and they will alert the people that won via email. As far as the, the pros and cons of each one, obviously the price point's the same. It's a great deal. They're again, gonna be probably great tickets. The in-person lotteries are a little bit of a hassle. I mean, you have to go and show up at the theater, probably right around the time you'd be wanting to go to dinner before the show. So you might have to have dinner after the show in this case. Um, the digital lotteries, of course, the, the huge pro is they're really easy to enter. You could be anywhere in New York City doing whatever you want to be doing. You pull up your phone, you enter right online, you hit send. The problem with them being so, so easy to enter is that a lot more people do it. Um, so your odds of actually winning a digital lottery are way, way slimmer than a lot of these other options. So that is definitely far from being a surefire thing. So that's something to keep in mind if you are planning to do this. And it's not to say you can't necessarily win. I have met somebody that won the Hamilton lottery on his second try. I entered 200 times and I never got it. One of the other surprising options i think when i tell people this they seem they look at me like i'm crazy um go to the box office of the theater i know everybody tends to do everything online but if you really really want to see a specific show and you really think the odds aren't good that you're going to be able to do rush tickets lottery tickets any of those things you really really want to see it and you're willing to spend a little bit more money on it go to the box office um, and the reason i say that is First of all, if you do buy online via Ticketmaster, you are going to pay service fees when you buy online. 
they can really, really add up. Again, especially if you're buying multiple tickets. Sometimes if you're buying tickets for a family, those service fees add up to the cost of like almost a whole other show ticket. Um, so if you have the opportunity to just go in person, the in-person service fees at the box offices are usually a couple of dollars a ticket. They're much, much cheaper. Um, the other thing is, you know, don't underestimate the power of just being friendly and courteous. There are as digitized as everything is, the box offices are still run by people. <laughs> there are still people working in there that can tell you, hey, yes, you know what? There are tickets for this night. But you know what? There's a little bit better deal the next night. Can you go the next night? Or, hey, I have a seat in this section, but you know what? I might be able to help you out and get you a better deal for a seat in this section. And they'll really talk to you and help you find the very best thing possible. The people that work in box offices are wonderful. They want you to see the show. They want you to have a good time. So don't count out the option of just going and talking to somebody and seeing what they might be able to help you out with. Now I will say, and this is probably starting to be pretty obvious from all of the things that I've said, none of these are a sure thing. So if you have very, very limited time in New York City and there is only one show that you absolutely have your heart set on seeing, really your only option is to buy your ticket in advance and just take whatever price and whatever fees come along with that because all of these are a little bit of chance. So at least you know what some of your options are and you can make a, an educated decision on what the best choice is for you. But please don't look at prices on StubHub and Ticketmaster and say, I could never go see a Broadway show. They're way too expensive. You absolutely can and should go see a Broadway show. There are ways to do it. Um, if all else fails and you forget everything from this video or you're not sure which show is doing which thing, there are websites available. One of them is called Broadway for Broke People. They just have a list of everything running on Broadway and which of the options they offer. Every show offers some option for people to go for less money, whether it's via a rush or a lottery or a digital lottery or any of those things. Uh, sites like Broadway for Broke People will break it down for you and tell you which show is doing which thing. So make sure you check that out. We hope to see you soon and I hope you enjoy your trip to the theater.